Hi there. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to brioche lace and my own technique for creating these beautiful eyelets and uh, creating open work in a brioche design. Before I begin showing the technique, I'd like to mention a couple of things. The first is I want to thank Nancy Marchand for being the inspiration for me to actually pursue this. It was uh, her designs of open work that she introduced in the Vogue Knitting Holiday 2014 magazine, which got me more motivated to look into brioche lace. Second is if you have that issue, my technique will differ a little bit from the way she has implemented open work and eyelets in her brioche patterns. M my technique is optimized to make sure that the eyelets, as you see in here, are uh, very open and the floats between these eyelets very compact. Because we are working with brioche and because we are working with two colors, you're going to have four strands spanning this distance between the open work. And this technique I'm going to show you makes these four spans very compact and optimizes that open space in here. So I have my little sample in here. And I'm going to start by showing the left slanting decreases and compensating for these decreases by making yarn overs and creating this open work. I've already made three and I'm going to show you how to make the next one. So here I'm working with two yarns. My A yarn, which is this green yarn, and this is the color A side, which is synonymous with the right side for me. This is the color B side and synonymous with the wrong side for me. Similar to traditional lace, the yarn over and decrease is done on the right side of the work. But in brioche, we are going to do it with the color A yarn. Let's get started. So, knitting the salvage stitch and working in pattern. That means slipping one yarn over and brioche knitting to the point where we need to make the yarn over. So here, this is actually the stitch I made on the previous row. But now I am to the point where I need to make my yarn over. I slip this one with a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front and make another yarn over, work my left slanting decrease, slip, not, slip one night wise, knit two together, and pass the slip stitch over. Continue working in pattern. I'm going to switch and do this continental. Slip yarn with uh, slip one yarn over, knit one, slip one yarn over. And this is where I need to make the decrease. Then I make my yarn over. Work my decrease. Slip one. Knit two together pass the slip stitch over and knit to the end. I finished the pass with my main color yarn. Then I'm going to slide my stitches to the right and work my contrast color yarn or again my A color, my B color, not to confuse main and contrast. So B is contrast 2, so slip one yarn over, brioche pearl, 
here nothing different just working in brioche pattern now this is the stitch before the yarn over I just brioche purl it normally this is my yarn over you'll notice because this was this was already a yarn over then we made another one it looks like a continuous um, stitch but it's not so just be careful here now duplicate this yarn over with this yarn I simply leave this yarn in the front because then next I slip the stitch now when I slip my main color stitch that's involved in the decrease I do not put a yarn over over it uh, the reason being is I want my floats to be compact in here and the only way they can be compact is by actually slipping it normally and uh, continuing my work so I slip it normally but I do bring my yarn to the front because I need to work the next stitch which is a brioche pearl and I'll switch over hands continuing working the contrast color or the B color yarn I brioche pearl that last stitch before the yarn over I duplicate the yarn over I slip that stitch pearl wise keep that yarn over bring it to the front to work my brioche pearl next and continue with my pattern here I worked my decrease and I made my yarn over the the difference here between normal lace and brioche lace is that this yarn over actually is made with two strands of yarn your color A and color B strands of yarn turn the work to the wrong side or the the color B side and again here I begin with my color A yarn and I work to the point of the yarn over so here so you'll notice the yarn over which is made with two strands but it looks like it's spanning the stitch so be careful here remember this stitch does not have a yarn over so all we're going to do is after we slip the stitch with a yarn over we're going to bring the yarn to the front and we're going to just purl it normally and then as with traditional lace I'm going to work into this yarn over so I'm going to purl with my color A yarn but I purl both these strands of yarn so I just purl into both and I slip both off of the needle and then I continue working with my brioche pattern which is slip one yarn over brioche pearl so note in here I've created a two stitches with the color A that are in succession which is not typical because we need a color B stitch in between that color B stitch will be added with the color B yarn when I begin working when I work with the color B yarn on this side so let me continue to the next one and I will work in brioche pattern again so here I am here is my stitch that's engaged in the decrease I'm going to move it to the front and purl it purl into the yarn over trapping both yarns and then continue working in brioche pattern and as I am actually working the yarn over and slipping these stitches I want to keep my stitches loose so as I am working here 
where I am. I did this yarn over, purled this one, and purled, and then I worked into this yarn over in here and so on. I just want to keep these stitches looser. I don't want them tight. So next I'm going to pull my stitches to the right and I'm going to work with the color B yarn. Slipping that salvage stitch, brioche, brioche knitting, and continue working in pattern to the point where I need to make my uh, increase into this yarn yarn over. But notice in here, uh, these two stitches in color A, I'm going to slip them but I am not going to put a yarn over over them. Again, that's important because I want to keep the floats compact. So I simply slip it with the yarn in front because I don't want, I mean, either you put the yarn in the back or over or in the front. I don't want it over. I don't want it in the back because I don't want it to, to, uh, to show. So the other option is to slip with the yarn in the front. So I do that take the yarn back, make my increase into the same yarn over, so I knit into that same yarn over between the two color A stitches, bring the yarn to the front, slip that stitch also with the yarn in front. And the reason we do this is because we want this stitch to be crisp when we work on the right side. So slip it with the yarn in front, take the yarn in back, and continue working in brioche pattern. Here again, continental style, I slip that stitch with yarn in front and increase one stitch with my B yarn, bring the yarn to the front, slip with yarn in front in the next stitch with color A I mean the color A stitch, and then continue working in brioche pattern. And this is it. This is my left slanting uh, decrease with an eyelet and open work. And you notice in here how these floats are very compact and gathered together and the holes are maximized so you can see them really well. Next I'm going to show how to work the right slanting decreases and the open work. Again we work those decreases with color A and on the right side, which is the color A side. I'm working in brioche pattern until I get to where I need to make the decrease. And here I am. And uh, the way we make right slanting decreases is to slip the first stitch and it's yarn over knitwise, knit in the next stitch, pass that slip stitch over, then we transfer the stitch from the right needle to the left needle, we pass the second stitch over it, and we transfer it back to the right needle. Then we make the yarn over, and then we need to continue knitting but my next stitch is a color B stitch, so I need to slip it with a yarn over. So I make a complete loop around the needle, So because I wanna make sure that this yarn over is there. Then I slip with a yarn over, knit the next stitch, and continue working in pattern to the next decrease. So here, I will work this decrease 
Continental style, slip the first stitch midwise, knit the next stitch, pass the slip stitch over, transfer that stitch to the left needle, pass the next stitch over it and then transfer back to the right needle. Yarn over all the way around so I can make a slip one with a yarn over and I continue knitting to the rest of the row. I slide my stitches to the right and with my color B yarn, I'll start this way, and then I knit my color B pass. So I'll slip that first stitch, work in pattern. And now we come to the stitch where that's engaged in that decrease. We move the yarn to the back, we slip that stitch, we bring the yarn behind it into the front, we duplicate the yarn over, make sure it does, this does not fall off the needle here, because that portion of it goes with the stitch in here, which is the, the, uh, the, the stitch we need to work next. So I bring the yarn around the needle, so I'm able to brioche pearl this stitch. So as a result, I still have my yarn over with my uh, color A and color B yarns. Then I continue working in brioche pattern to the next stitch um, that I need to slip, which is this one. That's Again, it's engaged in that decrease. So I um, slip it with the yarn in the back, bring the yarn back to the front, make a yarn over, and make sure that this does not slide off of the needle. Bring that color B yarn to the front, brioche pearl, and continue working in brioche pattern. And you notice that I kept all of my stitches loose. So I just want to make sure that the, especially the stitches around the open work stay loose so that the open work is able to stretch, stretch enough and you're able to see the yarn overs very well. So let's continue on the color B side, which is synonymous with the wrong side for me. So. I work my color A yarn first in pattern until I reach that yarn over and I've started continental style first. So here I reach that yarn over, I purl into that yarn over and I purl the next stitch and then I continue working in brioche pattern to the next yarn over. Oh, let me do this, sorry. Um, so traditional style yarn over, brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl into the yarn over, purl the next stitch, and Continue working in pattern. Working the color B next. Similar to what I did on the left leaning decreases, I'm going to add a stitch between the two, a, a B stitch between the two color A stitches, and I'm going to move my yarn to the front. I'm gonna slip that stitch like I did with the left leaning decreases. I'm going to slip that stitch with the yarn in the front, move the yarn to the back, and make an increase into that yarn over 
between the two stitches. Move the yarn to the front. Slip with the yarn in front. Move the yarn to the back. And continue knitting. In brioche pattern. So here I am to the area where I need to pay a bit more attention. Bring the yarn to the front. Slip with the yarn in front. Take the yarn to the back. Make the increase. Then bring the yarn back to the front. Slip that stitch with the yarn in front. Take the yarn to the back and continue working in brioche pattern. This is how we do the left leaning, the, I'm sorry, the right leaning decreases. In this final segment of this video, I'm going to show you how to make the centered four stitch decrease. As with the uh, left leaning and right leaning decreases we make this decrease with the A colored yarn and we make it on the right side of the work I'm going to work to the point of where the decrease starts and in brioche pattern or you follow your pattern so here I slip that stitch with the yarn over I'm going to make a yarn over so I bring yarn, the yarn to the front as a complete loop for that yarn over and then it's keep it in the front and ready to work the next stitch. To make this decrease also I need a locking stitch marker so keep that handy. So it starts by slipping the first stitch knitwise slipping the next stitch knitwise then I'm going to transfer this stitch from the left needle onto the locking stitch marker and notice I am transferring the stitch and the yarn over and notice also my yarn is still in the front so when I work this stitch next it's it's going to go span around but that's perfectly fine so secure this, I'm going to knit that next stitch and I'm going to pass this B colored yarn over this stitch that I just knit, just like this. Then I am going to transfer this stitch that I put on the locking stitch marker back onto the left needle and I'm going to transfer this just knit stitch back onto the left needle too and I'm going to pass both of these stitches the one with the yarn over and this one that was engaged in the previous decrease I'm gonna pass all of those over that stitch that I just knit and, oh sorry so that's on the left needle then I transfer it back as a last step to the right needle and pass this stitch that's involved in the previous and the um, left slanting decrease over it just like that so I'm going to unravel this and show you how to work it again one more time And this time I will work it continental style. So again, I slip one with yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, make another yarn over. That's my that's my open space or open work. Slip the next stitch knitwise. I mean, slip the 
the A colored stitch knitwise as well as the B colored stitch knitwise. So slip two sti stitches individually knitwise. Then transfer the next stitch on the left needle to a locking stitch marker and secure it. Knit the B stitch on the left needle and move this yarn over out of the way and take that B stitch on the right needle over that just knit stitch. Then I'm going to transfer this stitch that I put on the locking stitch marker back to the left needle and remove the locking stitch marker. Transfer this just knit stitch from the right needle to the left needle and pass. Oops, I gained a yarn over in here. It's not supposed to be here. So I'm actually going to transfer these. I'm not sure how I gained it, but let's take it off. Okay, so now I'm to the point where this is a stitch that was on the right needle. I transferred it to the left needle correctly. And then I'm going to pass this middle stitch over it and then this stitch that was in, engaged in the uh, right leaning decrease over it as well. One last transfer. Move that stitch to the right needle and pass the stitch that was involved in the left leading decrease over it and now we have that four stitch center decrease i make a yarn over to make up so it's symmetrical and to make up for the decrease in here then i bring the yarn all the way to the front slip with a yarn in front i mean slip the next stitch with a yarn over and continue working in the pattern. So you'll notice here, I'm not sure if how well you can see this, but we have a stitch, a slip stitch with a yarn over, yarn over that the resulting stitch from the four stitch decrease, a yarn over, a slip stitch with a yarn over over it. Then we slip all of these stitches to the right and we continue working with our B color yarn. We work in brioche pattern. Okay, now this is the stitch that we need to brioche pearl. Let's not lose this yarn over. We need to make sure it stays in place. We duplicate it. Oops. We duplicate this yarn over. But we want to slip stitch, slip the stitch normally with the yarn in back because we are on the A colored side. So we slip that in the yarn in back. Then we bring the yarn behind it, from behind to the front and duplicate the next yarn over and we make sure it doesn't slip off of this color um, the color A yarn does not slip off of this next stitch we bring the yarn to the front after we make the yarn over and we brioche pearl and then we continue working the rest of the row we worked in pattern to this point we replicated this yarn over we slip the stitch with the B color yarn behind it because we are on the main color or the color A side. Then we duplicated the next yarn over and then from this point on we worked in brioche pattern. So let's see how to do the next, the wrong side rows. Tangle this yarn. Starting with color A, we work 
like it better. Okay, so here you'll notice we have a yarn over and then we have that uh, stitch from the decrease and then we have another yarn over. So all we're going to do is uh, work into this yarn over purl by by we, we we work the purl stitch into this yarn over then we purl that next stitch that was the center of the decrease and then we purl into the yarn over on the other side of it so we've got three stitches in a row and then when we come back with our B colored yarn we're going to add stitches uh, B color stitches in between. We're going to add one here and one here. So we continue working in pattern to the end. So we're going to work in brioche pattern all the way until we get to that center area where we've got the three stitches, the three A stitches together like right here and as we did with uh, when we were doing the left and right leaning decreases we're going to slip the stitch with the yarn in the front so the yarn will be in the back the B yarn we we'll bring it to the front slip the stitch with the yarn in front move the yarn back add the stitch into that yarn over move the yarn back to the front uh, to the front slip that center stitch with the yarn in the front then move the yarn to the back make an increase do that yarn over then one last time move the yarn to the front slip that stitch with the yarn in the front and then slip that to the back that be yarn to the back and continue working in the brioche pattern. Here we go. So here we go. We finished this and we made this giant and beautiful yeah, um, open work and we added the bee color yarn uh, stitches in between the three A color stitches so then you know we turn our work and we continue working per our pattern so here we are we've got these beautiful eyelets with left and right leaning decreases and then finally with a four stitch center decrease it has been a pleasure introducing this new technique to you I hope you enjoy working with it. Thank you for watching and happy knitting.